Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday on this lovely September. Say, uh, just to let everybody know, it is a holiday today. Um, I'm expecting it to kind of be a little bit on the slow side. It is uh, Rosh Hashanah. Kids are off from school today and tomorrow. So for all our Jewish friends, we wish you a very happy Hanukkah. Um, good morning to you, Agatha, Amy, Andrea. Good to see you. Jason, Lita, good to see you. Deb, David, Johnny, George, good to see you. All right, good to see you. Good, Chris. All right. So, um, guys, just uh, let's talk. Listen, yesterday was pretty exciting. We're going to talk about that AMD trade, but um, and, but we have a lot of events going on today. Today is like the last hump day of going into the weekend, and just um, just kind of remind everybody there is less than two days left until the Traders Summit. Uh, I noticed that a lot of you guys are starting to register. We ran a great promotion that we're adding with the on-site. That if you do this uh, the summit, you're basically getting it for free. Uh, the summit, so you're gonna save like three hundred dollars on that if you do the on-site and then a bunch of other stuff with the uh, with the scalping course. So if you haven't spoke to Education Advisor guys, definitely be uh, get ready for it. Also, today at twelve o'clock, we're gonna be doing. We need to recruit some more traders. It's our weekly recruiting um, open house event at twelve o'clock, and then the biggest event in over three to four, probably four years. But Tom Sosnoff. The founder of Thinkorswim from Tasty Trade is going to come on at 4.30, and this is an event you do not want to miss, guys. So at 4.30, you have to be there. You all know who he is. I just saw him this weekend in New York. He's uh, They did a, a, a tour a concert. It was hilarious. It was, it was great. It was educational. It was fun. If you all know him, um, he, he is, he, and you have to be there. And uh, we're running a big, big event with Tastyworks also. Um, you know, so great opportunity for you guys. So definitely be there at 4.30 to see Tom Sosnoff. I'll have Josh put the link in there so you all guys can register for it. All right. Now, let's talk about what happened yesterday. All right. So yesterday we had a couple of big, big things that happened. Um, ITUS had a big pop yesterday. You could see it. Um, stock has been on fire lately. Went from like a buck twenty-five to a two sixty, and um, got a great, great move right there on that. It's still moving. I'm gonna throw it back on the watch list this morning. You could see that on the long-term chart on the right. That looks amazing. One thing that's nice about this stock, it's got great iceberg orders. So the ITUS is gonna make it back to the watch list. Another stock that moved yesterday, the HMNY trade. That one also has been on a nice little rally for the past three days. Not only has it been a day trade, it's been a good swing trade. But HMNY started at $2, went to 7 You know, that ha also had a really nice move. A lot of shakes, though. It wasn't as good as the uh, the previous day, but yesterday was kind of like, it was better on a Tuesday trade. But yesterday, you know, still had a last-minute pop. You know, there was still mon some money to be made there. So that one was not terrible. BBRY was fun, man. Oh, BBRY was... I mean, this thing is great. What an unbelievable move from 9.10 to 9.80. Now, what's the funny part about the BlackBerry trade, the BBRY, is, and you know, you know, you know guys, I was like the last of the Mohegans of the BlackBerry trade. But um, the thing about BlackBerry, you know, you got to look at this move. The chart looks a lot prettier than the volatility. It only technically only moved about 70 cents. It's not really a lot. It's good, but... Um, you know, the chart looks a lot better, and you can see it's got great Fausto flags right here with all these higher highs. So BlackBerry was also a good trade yesterday. Once again, only bad thing about BlackBerry, it's usually when we're not trading in the middle of the day. Usually we only work an hour in the morning and, and, and a half hour in the close, and there's your BlackBerry trade right there. Uh, what else do we have? The PZ, PZRX. That one had a nice little move. Once again, another one in the middle of the day. Cheap little stock, not that expensive. Uh, just two more. Um, wait, one, two more. A, L, and Y. That one was a phenomenal move. The only problem with A, L, and Y is that you need a lot of money. You had to be a level five trader to trade the stock. But I gave you the stock this morning. And uh, the, the day before, and what a great move. I mean, 95 to 115, you're talking a $20 move. I mean, that was huge. Once again, 
unless you're my level five traders and you're averaging about a thousand to five to 2,500 a day but listen you could have traded the other ones and then last but not least I just want to bring this up because I'm still a fan of it AMD uh, came out with an announcement that they're um, they, 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 they're doing a deal with uh, was Tesla on their self-driving cars or something like that so that was that was awesome uh, for a AMD and was was so great about this is that it ran literally the last literally the last 10 minutes of the close it ran a buck and then you could see it just constantly kept going in after hours and it came right back down where you left off so if you did hold it overnight uh, which by the way you know I'm not a fan of I, 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 I wrote you know it's in every one of your books we're exactly where we left off yesterday so even though you might look at all the winners you're like you know what I'm right back where I was yesterday I could just bought it back because you never know what could happen overnight but AMD is gonna make the watch list also great great move there so we had a pretty uh, pretty decent day now once again it is a very big holiday especially here in New York um, you know kids were off from school I know it was it was starting getting a little slow yesterday but today and then tomorrow um, you know obviously they had the Fed announcement they are expecting to raise interest rates again you know before the end of the year so I think a lot of that news was being um, w was waiting and you know what the market's still very strong the market is very very strong still which is a very very good sign you know but there are a couple of stocks that are making some moves we're gonna check them out alright first of all we got the ITUS we're gonna keep AMD we're gonna keep on our watch list DSLV is one that came out uh, DLCLV got a good little move right there nice good volume but only a four percent you know TEUM another one that's got some decent volatility up 10 percent 55,000 shares stock took a big hit from 350 all the way down to like 50 cents that one looks okay all right uh, the Blackberry we're gonna keep on the list all right and then I, I mentioned this early this morning all the gold stocks are getting crushed all right, uh, J Nut, J N U G. They've been um, look like been really nice shorts. I mean, they're getting really beat up. Uh, J Nut and uh, Nugget and U um, and U G T. They're all getting hit pretty hard right here. You can see they had they had a really nice run for a little while, but now they're really just you know went to 45. Now they're down to 33. Now remember, you got to be a an advanced trader, uh, a, a minimum of a two. I recommend you be a three trader, trade any ETFs. These ETFs are very volatile, very dangerous. You guys know this, and this is second protocol. But regarding of what's going on today, honestly, guys, we had a really good day yesterday. I told you in the morning the list wasn't the greatest. The day before was, and it all had to do about the holidays too. You know, a lot of people uh, left yesterday. Um, it's uh, it's uh, Rosh Hashanah before sundown, so we didn't really see that much, you know, going into the day. A lot of it happened, and it looks like it's spilling over into today, to today too. A lot of people go on vacation. I mean, two-day vacation in the middle of September is pretty pretty awesome. Uh, kids are off, so a lot of people went away, and that's what you expect, you know. But um, but um, as of right now, don't get just don't get too cocky. Don't get to, you know. Don't be a cowboy. Don't go out there. Um, there are days, you know, even the best times of the year to trade, like September, October, November. You are going to get these slow times. So we'll just take it with a grain of salt. All right. Anything I'm missing, guys, that I did not call out? <clears throat> anything I'm missing? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stocks, and honestly, I probably say three of them are probably, you know, half of them I probably wouldn't even put on the list, but it's been pretty light. All right. Uh, and also, remember the fiat trade? I told you about that one too. Fiat's doing pretty well on the swing trade, also. So keep an eye on that. Uh, that's President Trump will soon announce next step regarding North Korea missile program. Could be volatility. Well, Dana, like I told you, that is a very, very big concern. And you know, obviously, the market hasn't reacted. When, you know, when he made that announcement in front of the UN. Um, and by the way, I don't know if you guys, you, I think you were here, Dana. Actually, I did a speaking at the UN myself. I guess I'll send you the photo. Uh, but if you go on our Facebook page, you could see it. I was actually on that podium myself. Uh, I did a speech. <clears throat> now, um, but regarding about the whole um, North Korea thing, I told you, that's, that really, really scares me. 
And, you know, we're going to have to keep a very close eye on it. And this is why it's so important to be a good day trader because being a good day trader is going to help you. Um, being a day trader is going to help you realize that you're going to be more aggressive and like, oh, yeah, so God, God forbid, and we hope not, but God forbid there was, people like, oh, all right, whatever. Listen, I've been through 9-11. If you weren't there in the morning and sold out your positions, you probably lost about 20%, 30% on your stock. You could always buy it back cheaper. All right? Like I said, I, I would be very, very careful of of trading any of those things. You know what I mean? Very, very, very careful. Uh, BBRY. Just want to keep an eye on that uh, uh, BBRY. All right. So uh, listen, everyone. Before we go, like I repeat earlier, I saw some of you logged in early, so I just want to remind everybody: don't forget, we have. Um, we have three big major announcements today. First of all, you got two days left regarding the trading summit. Um, if you do register, you know, once again, we ran a promo regarding about with the on-site um, for April or May that you'll get this for free uh, and the scalping. So, you know, and like I said, if you don't want to do that's great, but definitely get the opportunity to come to the trading summit. And then also today we have two other big events. I'm going to be doing a open house to help us recruit more traders on um, at 12 o'clock. And then last but not least, somebody that is a dear friend of mine, and everybody knows him, and I'm so excited to have him back. Tom Sosnoff is going to be here at 4.30. Uh, I'll be doing a presentation talking about Tastyworks. So you do not want to miss that, and I expect every single one of you to be logged in there, okay? Because, like I said... This guy is so busy, and he doesn't have to be here, but because he respects Cybertrain University, he loves what we do, and he's always been an, uh, an advocate for great educators. And um, you know, now that he has, you know, and he's the founder of Thinkorswim, so we're glad to have him back. And uh, you don't want to miss this opportunity, all right? So, guys, definitely be there. And look forward to it. Yes, Benito. And you know what? You don't want to miss the opportunity regarding because he's going to talk a lot about that, about the Tastyworks platform. I tell you, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal platform. Blows Thinkorswim away. I mean, literally, you know, listen, and not that Thinkorswim is a bad platform. You know, I like Thinkorswim, you know, but it is 17 years old. This is the same programmers who built that built this one. And you want to see the difference. OK, so it's a, it's a great platform. All right, guys. Good luck today. Let's make some money. See you back at see you at twelve, and then at two thirty we do the afternoon meeting, and then four thirty we got uh, trade. Um, we have Tom Sosnoff on uh, um, on closing bell. Thanks everyone. Good luck today. Happy trading.